December 2023. Here we go. Day of surgery. I had a shower. Gilly's having a shower. And I'm just waiting. Oh, it's early. It's almost 5 a.m. and um, I'm at the hospital to be taken in at 6 a.m. to wait for surgery. Um, there'll be a waiting room with heaps of people and stuff. And um, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm so fucking nervous and um, we're worried. So yeah, that's where I'm up to. That's the motel room we stayed in last night. We had to travel from Tumut to Canberra, dropped the kids off at their dad's, and um, we came here, had dinner together. Um, yeah. Do everybody in the hospital feeling pretty good? Um, everything went well. I haven't spoken to the doctor yet. Um, I think I went in for surgery about 9 a.m. Um, woke up. Um, 11.30 I think, got to my room by 2pm, um, and it's now I think about 8pm, so um, yeah, waiting to speak with the doctor, which may not be till morning, but I'm um, feeling pretty good being out of bed twice already. <laughs> So, doing really well. Anyway, I'm going to get some rest and talk to you guys tomorrow. I got one cannula, two cannulas. <laughs> um, Alright, oh. graphic warning. I'll put in a um, photo here of my back so far. be going home today um, it's the next day but I'm doing so well they're gonna let me go home uh, yeah back looks great um, they took bloods this morning got both my cannulas out um, yeah everything looks great so I'm excited to get out of here and get back home and have a good night's sleep. Um, motel stay tonight. I reckon tomorrow's probably going to be the worst for pain, which is the day we're going home. So, um, see how I go. I'm fairly sore this morning, but um, just taking some pen and ink for and see how I go with that. All right, I look shocking. Um, I've just been released, which is really good. I'm just waiting in the car for Gilly. He's um, brought me up to the car park in the wheelchair. That's where I am now. <laughs> um, so yeah, going back to the hotel, we have a hotel room for tonight. So we'll be in Canberra tonight um, and then heading home tomorrow with the kids because um, they're at their dad's and um, starting this healing process. So, so far so good. Um, apart from my back being sore, which is understandable, um, the rest of me is feeling quite good. Um, I'm optimistic and positive, so I will keep you updated. Thank you for all the love and prayers and everything being sent my way.
everyone. So I realized that I haven't given you an update as yet. I'm sitting down in the shed because we're trying to get a bearing out of the rewheel of Gilly's Harley. Um, so today is Friday, the 15th, I believe it is, of December. Um, feeling good for the most part, still very sore. Um, still can't bend. Um, got to keep, try and keep my back straight so I'm not arching it. Not allowed to pick anything up. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, if you know me, like, I'm always up and always cleaning and tidying and mowing the lawn and doing something. So it's been a real mental struggle um, not being able to do all of those things. Uh, so had the surgery on Monday. I was released Tuesday and a lot of people were surprised and a little disgusted at the hospital that they let me go so long because it is major surgery. Um, then Tuesday night, we actually stayed in the hotel and we came back Wednesday. So Wednesday, excuse me, was a bit of a struggle. Um, the car ride home was very painful uh the the seat just rubs in every sore spot and i tried putting like a jumper behind me and stuff i didn't have a pillow stupidly um to try and pad my back and just nothing was really helping and gilly was great che checked in like all the time are you okay um we had many stops along the way so that I could get out and stretch my legs and have a drink and go to the bathroom and stuff. So he was great in that respect. Um, getting in and out of the car, I think in one way probably made it a little bit worse, but we got home anyway. Um, yesterday I was quite sore, but not as bad as I was Wednesday. Uh, I'll put some pictures in here for you guys to see my wounds so far, graphic warning. Um, but as you can see, uh, I, I'm actually allergic to um, the glue or some kind of ingredient that's on those plastic skins, the see-through skins they put over your dressings. Um, the see-through dressing, you know what I mean. So they couldn't put that on it. So the dressing that I have, it's like a soft gel when they put it on and then it dries more hard. So that can actually, I can peel that off in a week, they said. So roughly, you know, Monday, Sunday, Monday, um, I have an appointment with my local GP Thursday next week. Hopefully she knows what she's bloody doing and talking about. Um, uh, my other GP, my really good one is in Canberra and I didn't feel like going back to Canberra for a fourth time in two weeks. So, um, check up with the Canberra hospital in six weeks to see how I are. Things I've noticed so far, I have been getting a little bit of pain in my left leg, which I'm hoping is just because everything is swollen and still settling. Um, every now and again, I still get a little numbness in my foot and my calf, um, my right leg where I was before. I'm hoping that's just from swelling. And when I touch my back around the dressing where it is now, particularly the left side, my back is just numb. So that's probably just from um, nerves or something being cut and eventually they'll mend, I don't know. Anyway, I've raved on and off. I hope you're all well and um, I will leave it here until I check in with you again. Thank you for all your well wishes, um, particularly Kim um, and Sky um, and Jackie who have been checking in with me. So um, thank you to all of you. Thank you to Bridget as well. Uh, um, who else? Thank you to Andy Kay for all your well wishes and checking in and stuff. Um, we will just see where I go from here, but I appreciate all of your love that you're sending 
my way all of you so yeah talk soon